students uh, as we all know that it is nationwide lockdown these days and many are spending a lot of time online so it is the time when the universities schools and colleges are conducting online learning sessions so just for you i started to give you lectures online so that from home you may benefit yourself i want to address especially the new students of class 10 listen i want to convey my message that social science is a very vast subject but still the chapters here are very easy so concentrate on the explanation and practice the questions based on that so let's start the video i will start with geography chapter 1 resources and development so let's begin with the first chapter in geography that is resources and development now what is resource anything which we can use to satisfy our needs and it should be technologically accessible economically feasible and culturally acceptable this is called resource so what is resource anything which we can use to satisfy our needs it can be anything animals human beings plants the living things the non living things but the condition is there that it should be technologically accessible economically feasible and culturally acceptable now types of resources next topic is on the basis of origin how many types of resources are there so the two types of resources are there biotic resource and abiotic resource now what is biotic resource you must have studied about them earlier also that biotic resource is related to life means capable of reproduction and are generally renewable the example is plants animals human beings etc now abiotic resources these resources are fixed in amount and they can be exhausted so we can say that these are non living resources for example water land etc i hope it is clear now now the types on the basis of exhaustibility so on the basis of exhaustibility there are two types of resources what are those renewable resources and non renewable resources renewable resource these resources have capacity or ability to renew or reproduce through chemical mechanical and physical processes i repeat my definition they have capacity or ability to renew or reproduce through chemical mechanical and physical processes these are very important terms which you have to use now example is solar energy uh, wind energy etc now come to non renewable resources these resources cannot reproduce and can be exhausted also they are known as exhaustible resources for example minerals fossil fuels etc now let's come on another basis now the next types of resources are on the basis of ownership on the basis of ownership the resources are of four types what are the, the those resources let's let's go for first one that is individual resource what is individual resource first point exclusively owned by the individuals means these resources are owned by the personally personally owned by the people individuals for example the farm land the plot of land factories etc next is community resource community resource means owned by uh, the group or the community members so first point will be those resources which are owned by definite groups or community or community members for example the grazing lands that is the pastures burial or the cremation grounds ponds etc i hope 
the two are clear now let's proceed to the next one that is national resource which is very important one property of a country which are under the control of the government what is national resource the definition the first point which you will write it will include your definition the definition is that the national resource is a property of a country which are under the control of its government next point of the same type is the country can purchase or acquire individual or community resource for the construction of roads railways airports etc so in the conclusion point what you will write that national resources help in growth and development of the country and its people now example is mineral water resources etc i hope community resource national resource and individual resource are clear now let's proceed to the fourth resource that is very important one again international resource now these resources are owned the definition will be the first point will be that these resources are owned by international institutions and can be used by individual nations or communities after getting permission from the international institution this is the definition of international resources now the example example is uh, very frequently asked in the examination uh, <coughs> in the board exams eez what is eez that is exclusive economic zone and where it is located it is located 200 kilometers away from the coast of india so this is the example and this why it is known as exclusive economic zone because the economic basis in this zone can be used by other uh, countries also by the permission of the international institutions i hope it is clear now now let's proceed to the next types now these are the types of resources on the basis of state of development now again we are going with the four types of resources so on the basis of the state of dev development we are having four types of resources first one is potential resource now as the word conveys the meaning potential means those resources which are known known resources are called the potential resources and they can be explored and are likely to be available for use it means what that for example is given over here solar energy so solar energy from the day the earth made the solar energy was there on earth but the potential the people the scientists they came to know its potential afterwards few decades back only we came to know its potential so these are the known resources and they are likely to be available for use so example is solar energy and wind energy now your next type is developed resources what are developed resources developed means from the word it is indicating that the developed means the explored one the resources which have been explored the second point is the resources where the quality and the quantity are known yani ki in these resources the quality and quantity is perfectly known exploration development and utilization depends on its accessibility feasibility and availability of the technology means that the resources they were developed they were explored and their quality and quantity is everything is known and on what basis it is known it is uh, it is known on the basis of accessibility feasibility and availability of the technology now the third type of resource is stock stock the word is defining the meaning stock this type of resource is possible possibly satisfy the human needs but the suitable techniques are not available it means what it means this that the stock the resources are in stock but we are not having that technology or we are not economically feasible to use that technology in order to 
use such stocks now let's take the example example is for example the water water contains what hydrogen molecule and oxygen molecule but we don't have that technology which can split hydrogen and oxygen and we can use both of them individual respectively fine but we are having a stock a stock in the form of the water bodies we are having a stock all around the earth but we cannot use because we don't have the technological feasibility to use it now come to the next that is the reserve resources reserve again from the word it is clear that they are reserved something is reserved for the future so this is called reserve resources so in first point what you will write that reserve resources can be used in future with available technical knowledge for example the indian mountainous rivers these are kept for the future use when we will need them we can use them in future so this is called the mountainous rivers in india they are known as the reserve resources i hope it is clear now Uh, so now let's proceed to the next seg segment of this video that is the presentation that is that how you will present the answers in your board examinations so the question is here discuss any two resources on the basis of ownership i have taken the two resources community owned resource and national resource so the this is the way that how you will write it this is the whole answer how you will write the two resources on the basis of ownership are community owned resources first point you will always write definition make it very clear that first point in every question you will write you will give definition only so your definition for community owned resources resources which are owned by definite group of individuals or community examples you will give in second such as common grazing land burial or cremation grounds etc now next i have taken next type is take i have taken that is national resources again first point is of definition resources which are used as property of a country and are under the control of its government second point i have elaborated this point to explain it in a very nice manner the country can purchase or acquire individual or community resource for the construction of roads railways etc and then you can give the examples that is mineral resources and water resources this should be your presentation so this is a segment 3 Uh, where i am providing you uh, some uh, questions based on my explanation so you have to uh, solve these questions according to the presentation which i have given in my segment 2 and i hope that you all will do it check out the description box for the notes thank you